It's been a year since Rafida Ahmed and her husband left their home in the U.S. to visit the country of their birth. What was supposed to be a happy homecoming to Bangladesh instead ended with a savage murder. Did anybody suggest that you should watch your back while, while you were in Bangladesh? Everybody did. Our mistake, we did not take it seriously. By day, Ahmed's husband, Avijit Roy, worked at a telecommunications company in Georgia. But at night, he wrote constantly, publishing at least eight books in Bengali and running a website that frequently challenged organized religion, much to the anger of some Islamist extremists. Husband's last blog post yeah, here? Yeah. Where he quotes Salman Rushdie. Yes. Calling religion a, a medieval form of unreason. On the night of February 26th, as the couple left the annual book fair in the Bangladeshi capital, several men armed with machetes pounced. What do you remember of the attack? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. It was a vicious assault. Roy was killed and Ahmed barely survived. I had four stabs, machete stabs on my head. Why do you think these people attacked you? We have got to a point where criticizing Islam is becoming a very big crime or a sin in, in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a majority Muslim country with a constitution that embraces secular principles. But in the months after Avijit Roy's murder, unknown attackers carried out four similar machete murders of secular writers and publishers. Police in Bangladesh insist they now have the situation under control. The situation has become safer now. Police have paraded several suspects in public. Officials linked the murders of atheist writers and a recent series of attacks on Hindu, Christian and Shiite communities to homegrown Islamist radical groups. 28-year-old writer Maruf Rasul says he's been subject to regular threats. I have the right to ask question about anything. Rather it is religion, it is any establishment, anything. I have the right to ask the question. I have the right to express my thoughts. If you don't like it, don't read it. As for the case of Avijit Roy, a year after his death, there have been arrests but no convictions. Police say his murder is still under investigation. His widow says she's working to help other Bangladeshi writers escape to foreign countries. She accuses the Bangladeshi government of not doing enough to crack down on Islamist extremists. Uh, the impunity has gotten to a point that they know they can get away with anything. Echoes of the violence in Bangladesh. So this is your study? Yes. Are still being felt a world away in this quiet Atlanta suburb. I try not to come here. It's just too painful. Yeah. Ivan Watson, CNN, Atlanta.